Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and this is Technique Tuesday and I have a beautiful card here to share with you. The special part of this card is that this is the velvet um, cardstock that we have. I forgot what it was called exactly, but I'm gonna let me look at it and I can tell you really quickly. The white velvet sheets. You can stamp on it. It is amazing. I did not, I mean, I've been trying everything with it. It is so awesome. You can color it with your color daubers. You can stamp on it. It's so pretty. And to you, it probably just looks like it's whisper white, but it is not. It is the velvet sheets. And I also embossed this, and I did this card a little bit different. I embossed this with um, Whisper White. This time we're going to emboss it with the copper, since I used the copper um, ribbon on it, the copper trimmed ribbon. And I'm also using the swirls and curls um, on this one. It's so cute. I really, really love stamping on this. And on this piece, if you put your... Um, your snowflakes close together you can get four of them on here and I am using the snow is glistening again <laughs> I know you're probably tired of seeing the stamp set but it is amazing and if you watched my video on Sunday you saw the treat holder that I made with this one I would grab it but I have it in the area that I photo so I don't have it right here but you watch the video for Sunday. It was really cute. I really, really loved that one. And so it's a gorgeous tree. So I am using the Sending a Blizzard of Wishes for a wonderful season on the front. And then we are using the larger of the snowflakes. And we're going to stamp um, those onto our velvet sheet. All right. So let's get started for this card. You are going to need a piece of pool party, and it is a basic five and a half by four and a quarter. You're going to need another piece that is five and a half by two and a half, and this is what we're going to stamp the sentiment on. And then the velvet sheet is two inches by five and a half. I recommend if you want this velvet, these velvet sheets, put in your order because these are all for a limited time and it is gorgeous. I already used almost all of mine. I only have a couple little pieces left. So it is just so pretty. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is um, I'm going to run this through um, the big shot and then we're going to um, do our embossing on this, the sentiment. So let's just run it through the big shot first and get that done. So we are going to use our magnetic platform. I'm using the swirls and curls. And when you use our embossing folders, um, make sure that the front here has got the Stampin' Up! because that will be the proper way for it to emboss or it will kind of look debossed. You can do it either way, but whichever way you like it. But And then we're going to just run this through. And I don't have it lined up. I could see I'm having an issue here. So let me back it up a little bit. Get that straight. It's got to be like perfectly straight because it is fits perfectly through this. All right, I think we got it now. And it's so pretty. Look how gorgeous that is. It's so pretty. All right, we got that done. And what I'm going to do, I'm using, you can use whatever corner rounder you have. I'm using this one because it's always right here on my desk. We're going to round the corners just to make it a little bit more elegant looking. And then for this piece, I'm going to grab my embossing buddy and we are going to use that to keep the static down. I'm going to grab my sentiment here 
I'm going to get the Versamark out. Okay, we're going to ink it up with the Versamark. And we're going to do it on the very bottom edge here. So stamp it. And then I'm going to grab that copper embossing powder. This is the one I don't have a spoon in it, so I'm going to just dip it in here. Make sure you got it really well coated. I think I might put a little bit more on that. Okay, and then we are ready to emboss, so I'm going to grab my heat tool. have that all embossed. So I'm going to again take the corner rounder and round these corners. We're going to attach this and I always use like some stronger adhesive when you're adhering to an embossed card. It just holds it on so much better. Um, either use wet glue or something really strong. So we're going to line that up on there. And then we're going to set it aside and we're going to stamp on our velvet. So here's my piece of velvet. Hopefully I'm going to keep these straight because um, I always stand up. It's a bad habit, but I always stand up usually when I'm stamping. And we're using Pool Party. Ink it up really good and then just start stamping in the center. And I hold it there for a minute so it absorbs the ink a little bit more. But look how gorgeous it stamps on here. I was so excited. And then we're, you want to make these like your, um, I'll show you here in just a second. So you want these tips to be really close together so you can fit all four on the, of these on there. And if you want these to be darker, you can do it with the Stamparatus and then do it several times. Look how gorgeous it is. I'm so excited that I tried that. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. I'm telling you in person, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. Is that not so pretty? I love it. I hope you can see the, the velvet effect on there. It's just super pretty. So then the next thing I did is I actually trimmed the top and bottom a little bit closer. I just took my um, trimmer here. And I just trimmed a little bit more off. Um, I think that was it. Just one side is plenty because I want it to be even on both sides. So it's a little bit narrower now, but I'd leave it a little bit longer. I'd leave it the two inches and stamp it, and then you can cut after. All right, so we're ready to adhere this. And this actually cuts beautifully. And then, um, oh boy, actually I think I want to add my ribbon first. I didn't add the ribbon to here first. That's where I messed up a little bit, but we'll go ahead and get it on there. I knew I was forgetting something. So I usually, see now I probably got it down really good. No, I can still lift it. It's still a little bit not quite adhered. And I'm going to just cut a piece big enough to tuck under there. And then we're just going to tie. I'm going to put the adhesive now on here. Where is my little... Let me just grab a piece of scrap here. Because I don't want to get it all over now. I'm going to put it on here. 
don't forget your ribbon first. <laughs> then you'll be doing what I'm doing. All right. Now I'm going to just set that down here. And I just want it above the sentiment. And I'm going to tuck this under. I may need to add a little bit more adhesive now to the... And then keep it straight. Oops. And you want to tuck this one under. And keep it flat. You know what I'm going to do? Because I pulled that up, I'm going to add a couple little glue dots under there. Because I don't want that to lift now that I sealed it down so good. So we're going to use a glue dot also to hold the ribbon in place. Actually, it's, it's actually staying down pretty good. I just need a couple. So don't forget your ribbon first. I was getting a little ahead of myself. One more there and I think we'll be good. And then I'm going to take one more and I'm going to kind of roll it a little bit and I'm going to stick it underneath the ribbon right here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to slip this under here and we're going to tie a knot. Really simple like that. Oh, <laughs> I forgot I had adhesive on that. And we're just going to trim the edges off here. And we're going to ready to put this on there now. Just going to set it right above where our ribbon is. Make sure you have it lined up straight. And that is it. Could have made it a little bit simpler by putting my ribbon on first. I do that sometimes. I get a little ahead of myself. But you know what? I really think I like the copper better with it. Here's the other one. And you can't see the sentiment as well on it like you can on the copper one. But it's your choice, either way that you like it. Um, it does look pretty with the white as well. So I think I may put another glue dot underneath um, the ribbon right there. Kind of roll them a little bit when you do that because you don't want it to show this ribbon's really thin. Just to hold it where it should be. Yeah, that's much better. All right, that is it. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop for my blog. I do have the November hostess code posted. So if you want to get into the drawing for um, the hostess dollars at the end of the month, I always notify the person who won. And um, they get to get their free choice of product. All right, everyone, that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. That is so fun to try to stamp on it. It's so pretty. So I hope you try it for yourself. Have a blessed day, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. I'll see you later. Bye.